So I just learned about this open source project online for generating random avatars that you can use in your software. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to show you how it works, how their API works. It's something you can install yourself, but you can also just use their API to generate some random avatars. Let's get started. This is the website avatars.dicebear.com. In fact, right now, if you just go to dicebear.com, it forwards you to the subdomain of avatars.dicebear.com. And right here, you can see an example of one of the avatars. It's set to mail, and if we give it a custom C, you'll see that it changes randomly depending on what we're typing in there. Uh, you can change it to female and get a female character. You can do human, which will give you male or female. You don't know. Uh, and then there's other options too. I also like their bots, one which will give you like a little bot avatar. It is a open source project. Here's their GitHub page, Dice Bear. And uh, if you look at the license, it's an MIT license. So let's go back here again. This is something that you can install to generate something on your own uh, system, but they also have a very basic HTTP API, which makes it super simple. So if you need to generate an, a random avatar for a game or an application, uh, you can do that here. It also uh, generates, you can have it create just little avatars with initials in there. So if you know your user's initials, you can have it generate something that way. But let's go ahead and just have a look at how this works. It's super simple. So here we go. Here's an example. This is their um, API. So you go just go to this uh, URL, that's the word I'm looking for, and then here you're going to replace where it says colon sprites with one of their options, male, female, sprite, identicon, initials, bots, so forth, so on, and then here you're going to put in a random seed and it's going to give you uh, an SVG as an output. Let me go ahead and copy their example here, which also gives a value for a background. If you don't give it a background value, it's going to give you a PN, or a, sorry, an SVG with a transparent background. But here, you were using hex code 0000FF. That's going to be blue. So let's go ahead and copy that, open up a new tab, paste that in there, hit enter. There is our avatar. So you can see here it's male. And this is, we wrote John here, but that's just your, your random seed. So I can type anything there and it will give us a new male character based on what we type in there. And every time you, you use that seed, it's going to give you the same results. Uh, so you would want to generate something random each time if you want a random uh, output. Again, the background's hex code, so right now it's set to blue. I can set it, if I do FF, that's going to be all red and all blue, so we're going to get a pink color, uh, or mauve, if you will. Uh, and here's, a, here's an example, or a little test for you. If I do all red, all green and no blue, what color you get? What does red and green get? Yellow, yellow, okay. Uh, <laughs> watch uh, my video about this is a yellow truck for more on, on colors like that. So uh, again, if we just leave out the backgrounds, we're gonna get an SVG with a transparent background. Uh, again, I can change this to from male to female and I'm gonna get the female version of that character. Uh, I can type in something random again here. That's a it's a funny looking one. Let's try another one. There we go. So we have a female character. Again, I can come in here and I can change this from female to male. And there's the male version of that character. And um, we can also, another option here would be bots with three T's and an S. Should give us a bot. Random characters gives us that. Uh, and again, if you want randomly male or female, you just type in human and it will give you a human character. Let's look at their API, it gives you a little more information here. You can also do things like setting the mood. You can make them happy or sad. So let's go ahead and grab that John character again, paste him in there, this time with mood equals happy. Look, he's smiling. But if I change happy to sad, same character, but now he's frowning. So there's some examples. And of course, I can go ahead and take one of these, copy it, and uh, in this empty folder here, I can use wget or curl, and uh, I'm just going to type in that URL, and it downloaded a file. If I list it out, you can see it there. If I file it out, you can see that it is a uh, vector graphic image, and if I open up this directory, uh, you can see that I have an icon. By default, they're going to be 20 pixels by 20 pixels, which might be a little small, uh, depending on your application. They are pixely pictures, so it's not uh, a big deal, but you can change the um, height and width uh, by giving it variables of H and W. So let's do 128 and width of 128. And there we go. We now have a 128 by 128 image. I can W get that. 
Uh, this time, since it has those variables at the end, I'll want to use dash O for an output, and I'll just call this av.svg for avatar. And if I open, uh, you might want to do xdg. I have xdg open uh, aliased to the word open, uh, but we will open up that with my default image viewer. There we go. That's what we have just downloaded. Now, let's write a script to download a handful of them. Uh, obviously, you don't want to overload their API, but I'm just going to write a script that anytime you run it, it's going to download four avatars with the same seed, but it will give you a male, a female, a human, and a bot. So let's go ahead, vim, we'll just call this avatars.sh, and we'll make this a bash script. To save some time and not bore you too much, I'm going to copy and paste some code here. First thing we want to do is generate a random seed. We're gonna do this by, I've gone over generating random characters in the past, but we're gonna cut out uh, urandom. So from our dev directory, we're going to tell it we just want alphanumeric output. And then this is gonna say, okay, we just want 32 characters, give us the first result, okay? We just create a random seed, perfect. Now, we want to create an array. We want to generate a male, a female, a bot, and then a random human from this information. And to easily be able to adjust the size, we'll create a variable, I'll say 128. Now, we're gonna download the avatar right here. Let's clean this up a little bit. Uh, there we go. So, we have our array of types. We're gonna say for each of those, we're gonna create a variable called T. We're going to, this did not copy the way I wanted it to. There we go. We can. I'm putting all this on one line, we don't have to, but we are going to wget, we're going to be quiet about it. Uh, <laughs> then we're going to download a URL, but we're going to put in uh, the type here, and we're going to go through each one of these types. We're going to create an output file that also has that type, so that's going to be part of our random seed. Actually, that doesn't even need to be there. That's actually a little extra random seed there. We can actually remove that like that and we should get the same results. So we're gonna generate a random seed and I think I, I was thinking different when I first started creating this script. Could have left that stuff in there. I'm just shortening up the code a little bit with unnecessary stuff. Okay, so type the seed we generated and then we're gonna set the size. We're gonna set the output. We're going to say the type and the seed so that we can download more than one. And then we're just gonna echo the output of what we just generated. That's it. I'll put a link in the description of this video to this code on pastebin. Uh, but let's go ahead and make that executable. Uh, let's see right there. Clear the screen. And now we can just type in avatars.sh. And we just created a bunch of things. So let's go ahead and open up this directory here. You can see, oh, didn't mean to move that over there. We have some new avatars, all 128 by 128 pixels. Let's run our code again. There we go, we just got four more avatars. Run it again. We're gonna get four more avatars. So already we have a bunch of avatars. I don't know why my, my computer's uh, not liking creating some thumbnails right now properly. Um, but yeah, we can look through all these. And that's great. So you can actually create your own collection to have on hand as well, pretty easily with a script like this. Uh, sorry for the confusion when I was copying my script and I decided to make some changes. But again, the link to this to this script, which is very simple, uh, will be in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link to that in the description. I do have a Patreon page, link in the description. Please like, share, subscribe, and I hope that you have a great day.